Hello, I'm Richard Ridge. David Mamet's Speed the Plow is back on Broadway at the Ethel Barrymore Theater. Under the direction of Neil Pepe, this 20th anniversary production stars Jeremy Piven, Raul Esparza, and Elizabeth Moss. How? The question, your crass question, how much money do we stand to make? Yes. Well, I think the operative concept here is lots and lots. Oh, man! Great big jolly shitloads of it. Oh, man! But money. Yeah. Money, Charles. Yeah. Money is not the important thing. No. Money is not gold. No. What can you do with money? Nothing. Nary a goddamn thing. I'm going to be rich. Buy things with it. Where would I keep them? What would you do with them? Yeah. Take them out, dust them time to time? Oh, yeah. I piss on money. I know that you do. I'll help you. It's really hard to do, actually, because you got to get all those lines right, and if you screw them up, you're you're dead in the water. So just learning that, getting the rhythm, playing it out. It feels like we're a couple of uh, old comics, you know, working it out together. And I like that a lot. It's fun. Charlie Fox is, you know, he's uh, second in command to the head of the production office at the studio. Now. The other guy, Bobby, got there because of Charlie, and now they have an opportunity to, to go even further together, and Charlie finally gets to hold his own. He's ambitious, and he wants it desperately, and he's a loyal friend, and he tells the truth, and he's a shark, and he's a killer, and if he gets betrayed, which he does in this play, what's underneath all that buddy-buddy friendship fun is actually someone who is so desperate that they will destroy anybody in their path who stands in front of their possible success. He's that guy that, you know, can't get into the clubs unless he pays the doorman. He does way too many drugs. He can't really afford his clothes. His car is probably used, but it's a Porsche. You know what I mean? He's just living right beyond his means. And I just, you see it in the clothes and in the way he carries himself. It's like, don't screw with me because I'm drowning. <laughs> What, you got a new broad going with a new job? Kathy's just out sick. Cute broad, the new broad. The new broad? She's cute, baby. She's nothing. Wait till we do this film. She's nothing? No, I'm saying playing in this league, it's boy's choice. Skate in one direction only. <laughs> oh, man, what am I going to do today? Go to the movies, get your hair done. I am jumping like a leaf. It's a done deal. We walk in there tomorrow. What's the, this, what's the thing you're reading? This I thing. Come in. Uh huh? From the East, an Eastern sissy writer. To be honest with you, I have an enormous ego, and it's hard for me to be viciously mediocre. And I've been mediocre for like three weeks. And the way David writes, he writes to, for it to be performed. I needed to perform it. I needed to get it in front of an audience. And once we did, it started to kind of have a life of its own, which is the way it was intended. So I was so thrilled with, with this run so far. And I really believe the show can get better and better. And we're at a place now where people are enjoying themselves. We're putting everything we have into it. So, And yet it still can get better. That's not a tribute to us. It's a tribute to the writing. I don't understand. You wanted something. You were frightened. I don't understand. That forced you to lie. I forgive you. you forgive me. Do you know how I can? Because we are just the same. You said you prayed to be pure. I did. This morning. I was joking. <laughs> it's been an incredible experience. It really has. It's been... Um, working with these two guys, Raul and, and Jeremy, has been amazing, and uh, and Neil, and it's it's been incredible.